Hello, hello. How is everyone? Happy Wednesday. All right, well, let's get this all situated here. Today we're gonna to be making a fun card using a couple new techniques a water splatter along with some blending, all kinds of fun. And since we are fully into summer, we're gonna use the Beauty of Deep stamp set. Totally speaks to summer, right? And the coordinating dies. So for today's card, here's what it looks like. And we are going to create this fun monochromatic, all one color basically card using that set, a happy summer card, so it could be used for all occasions, right? And we're gonna be using our Summer Splash, my favorite of the new five in colors for this year. Hey, Avril and Lori, woohoo! Okay, good, my comments are working. Hey, Lizzie, love that you guys are joining me live, live, live. Okay, so let's bring in some scrap paper here. And we are first gonna create, so this is Summer Splash. We're gonna create our background. So I've got just a piece of basic white here. And I'm gonna bring in one of our blending brushes. So I have, I like the mini blending brushes. They're just easier for me to control. They, we also have some larger ones. And I have one for each of my colors. So, and then I just label them with my little P-Touch labeler with the color. So that way they don't get mixed. You never have to wash them, wait for them to dry or anything like that. So I'm just going to get some fresh ink on here. And we're going to start here at the bottom. I'm going to tap off just a little bit because we don't want to get like such a harsh color. And I kind of like to start blending just below the paper. And we're just going to add our Summer Splash color all along our paper here. So let me grab some more color right off our ink pad so it's easy, right? And just kind of circular motion. And we'll just kind of move along our paper here Kind of getting lighter as we go up, but I'll go over it probably a couple more times because we want to just get enough color on here and kind of create that ombre look, right? With just that one same color. So we're just adding our color, adding our color. I'm gonna get a little bit more ink on here. And the more you use your brushes, the better they work, right? Because they get more ink seeped in there and then they start blending even more seamlessly. So I'm just kind of getting a lighter touch towards the top, kind of this darker towards the bottom. And just going along until it seems blended. A little bit more up here. And I like to kind of hold it in the middle here. Some people like to grab it way here at the bottom, but um, I have found that it creates a darker color, right? Like a more intense. So just lightly going over all of this just to make sure it's all blended. Get maybe a tiny bit darker here at the bottom. You can press a little bit harder if you want it to put a bit more color on there. But I think that looks good. So there is no perfect to this. I just keep going till it looks kind of all filled in how I want. So. You can see we went from that solid white paper to this kind of ombre effect with our summer splash. So let me put this to the side. And now we're going to do some water splatters is what I call them. So I like to get just a 
a towel that we can use here in a second and one of our water painters so it's just filled with the uh, water inside the tube here I'm just gonna squeeze it out where it says push here so we're just gonna squeeze and hopefully you can see what we're doing is getting little droplets of our water all over our paper here so hopefully that you can see those on there, but I know you'll be able to see them in a second. So now I'm just gonna take my towel here and kind of just dab off that extra water. And look, now we've created this splatter with our ink here. Isn't that fun? So with our uh, Beauty of the Deep set, to me it looks like water bubbles, right? <laughs> so then the next fun thing that I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna use one of our brand new embossing folders. So for our Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine, the Big Boss, um, you can use these great big embossing folders. So this one is called So Swirly. And to me, when I first saw it, it looked like paint, but it also looked like water. It looks like all the swirls in the water, right? So what's fun about this size is it's great for different scrapbooking, it's you know bigger layouts kind of things. It's great for our cards because if you take your card base, let me grab my card base here, you can actually fit your entire card base and run it through and the front and back of your card would be embossed. So that is uh, an option as well. So for today, what we're gonna do is this piece that we just created, we would stick this into our embossing folder and we'd run it right through our Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine and with the magic of TV here, <laughs> we would have our um, colored paper that we did our water splatters on and then we ran it through and look, now it creates this texture that to me kind of looks like waves or something, right? So that's what we're gonna use for today's card. So remember, if you want any of the step-by-step -step instructions, the supply list, or any of the measurements, just make sure that you either check out my blog each week at stampinqueenbee.com, or if you are subscribed to my weekly Buzz Bulletin, I send out a very free PDF printable doesn't cost you anything and you can get that delivered right to your inbox every single week with those instructions. So now we've got this, it's all dry, it's went through our Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine. We've got our basic white thick card base here. And the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna bring in some of that Summer Splash ribbon. I love this bordered ribbon. It comes in all of our new colors, the same design. And I'm gonna use my ribbon scissors here. I'm just gonna snip off a little bit. And we're gonna bring in some Stampin' Seal Plus. I like the plus. It's a little bit stronger and it holds better, I think. And so we're just gonna give a little bit on each of these ends here. And we're gonna take our ribbon and we're just gonna wrap it right around and stick it right to our adhesive there. Easy, right? And if it's a little, needs a little adjusting, make sure it's straight, then that's kind of when I do it. At that point, you can peel it off if you need to and just kind of readjust it so that it's straight on there. Okay, now we're gonna bring in our base here and our liquid glue. I'm just gonna adhere this to our card front and then we will do some stamping here. This set is so fun. I actually won this set on the Stampin' Up trip. That was fun. Perfect for our beach trip that we just got back from, right? <laughs> okay, so we'll let that set aside bring in a piece of basic white here and bring back our summer splash and we're gonna take our images here we've got our fun fish we'll go ahead and stamp that we've got our 
underwater foliage here. So we'll go ahead and stamp that. And then um, we will run these through. So using our dies, our beauty of the deep dies, there's all these great um, dies that will die cut our images here. So we've got our foliage, we've got our fish here. And then there's also some of these extra dies. And so we're also going to run this through with some summer splash and get our little coral here. And with magic of uh, Facebook, YouTube, <laughs> we uh, already did these for us so that they are already cut out for us. So that's where those pieces came from. So we're going to go ahead and adhere these. So with our a coral here. Hey, Bryn. How are you, girl? We are going to go ahead and I'm just going to put a little bit of what I would call holding glue just right there. And we're just going to go ahead and kind of smoosh this. We're going to cover it up so it'll be okay here. But we're just going to go ahead and put this and I just like to hold it there for a second so that it can adhere. And then as it dries, it's kind of stuck down, right? Then we've got our foliage here. So we're gonna put this right over where that holding glue was. And this one, we're gonna use some dimensionals, some Stampin' Dimensionals here. So we're just gonna put those. These are kind of foam adhesives here. And we'll just stick a few of those right on there, peel off those backs. And we'll go ahead and easy peasy, put that right on top. So it kind of holds that in place, right? And then we've got our cute fish here and we'll give him a little, or her, a little dimensional on the back. And we'll go ahead and add that right to maybe a little higher, right there. So it's kind of like three all in one, right? And then we need some, a sentiment of some sort, right? So this Beauty of the Deep set did not have sentiments in it. And so I grabbed the Choose Happy stamp set. This is a great one because it's really for all year. We've got Thanksgiving, anniversaries, all the four seasons. We've got Choose or Happy. We've got all these great little graphics. You know, I got it for the cute bumblebee. Um, but I love these sentiments as well. So we're going to use two of them. We're going to use the happy and then we're going to use summer. So happy summer. So those are two separate stamps. And what I did is I just put them together onto one acrylic block so that it makes one sentiment. So you could do them on top of each other, side to side, however you want them. So I'm just gonna bring in another scrap of basic white here. And we're just gonna go ahead and stamp a few of these. We only need one, but I always like to stamp two or three when I'm doing it, so then I just have them ready to go. And there is no die for these, so we are going to fussy cut. So I'll bring in some snips here. And we'll just fussy cut one of these, so easy. So I just kind of go around. The other cool thing about doing that, you could stamp one and then you could stamp another one in a different color if you wanted to do that to kind of have a really popping sentiment. But I just move my paper kind of right around here as I'm going. My scissors kind of stay straight and I just kind of open and close them and move the paper along as I cut, leaving kind of, I want to leave a little bit of a white border. You can make that as tight or as loose a uh, border as you want. And then just real quick and easy, you can cut out your sentiment. So it looks like it was just made together, right? So then I'm going to take this, and I'm just going to um, use my dimensionals again. So for these, I often will cut these side strips so that 
and I have some adhesive scissors here so that we've got some kind of thinner strips. Let's see, which ones do I want to use? Maybe this one here. So that way it's a little bit thinner along since this is a skinnier sentiment. So the scissors that I use for my adhesives like this are some Teflon scissors, so they won't get anything sticky on them, which is nice. Or you can just dedicate a, um, a pair that you only use for your adhesives, right? Because we don't want to get sticky along our cardstock or anything like that. Okay, so we've got those on. Make sure it's the right direction. And we're just going to add that right kind of over top our ribbon. Just like so. How fun, right? Then of course we need some bling. So I am going to use today the, what are these called? The opal round, opal rounds dimension, or not dimensionals. What are these called? Embellishments. <laughs> oh boy. And these clear ones here, to me, look like bubbles. So we're gonna take one of the larger ones, just coming right from our little fishy here, and then two of our little smaller ones, just right on top. And don't those just look like those little sea bubbles? <laughs> blop, 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 right? Coming right from our cute fishy there. So this is a great card to use for all the seasons, right? Sometimes there isn't a holiday or an occasion, but you just wanna say hello, and so Happy Summer is a really good all occasions card that you can use. And then we don't wanna miss our inside, and so what I did is I just took our same summer splash with our sea foliage here, and just did one right on the inside just to give it a little bit and stick with our fun color. So I love featuring our summer splash, my favorite of our new in colors, and I love these two stamp sets, Beauty of the Deep and Choose Happy. And I hope you love today's card with our ombre blending and our fun water splatter technique. Happy Wednesday, I'll see you guys next week.